Welcome back to the third episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Hinley's story. We will be trying to find some cotton patches specifically, and a few other items, because I want to make a new thing called 2 by shin guards. We need some of those, because my leg got bit, and that's bad, and I healed it, but I don't need that happening again. So the goal is going back to the main town of Salem, and trying to raid some new houses while killing some zombies while not dying and trying to avoid the uh, tough zombies because those things they're awful i hate them so much they've killed me way too many times Hopefully the whole thing right now since i only have three bars of my right leg is as soon as we see a zombie running because i cannot handle another fight right now but i do need to loot stuff and i think about it, i don't think i actually can fight that area very much at all well, obviously I can't fight, but I can't really loot that place. There's just too much going on. I guess I'm just gonna have to go downwards and then hope to find something. Just continue to travel down. Uh, why is a tough zombie going up like that so much? Weird. I guess that means I can loot. Okay. I was gonna go back into this house then. Oh, another one. This is once an athletic human, now a brutal monster. His facial features are twisted into an expression of pure rage. Maybe I can just loot the place down here. Another zombie. Yay. Oh, what's this? I bought. Interesting. A quadcopter drone largely comprised of a high resolution camera lens and a speaker. This a robot hovers above the ground, documenting the carnage and mayhem around it. While it no longer is able to report to a central authority, it's likely that some of the automated alert systems are still functional, given that the thing seems to have an operational charging station somewhere. Interesting. Oh, okay, they're actually fighting. Interesting, but none of them's hitting. Cool. So that means I can go into here. Oh, instant coffee mix, nice. Okay, definitely gonna want some of that. Character sheet, a uh, sheet, hip flask, okay. Uh, survivor's note, that's useful, maybe. Another hip flask, computers, another survivor's note, some more flyers. I get air conditioners, but this whole place is frozen to ice. Hey, I got more snow cones! Uh, Joe's Diner. Half pound of meat, three toppings, your choice. All with a side of Freedom Fries and a big gulp size pop. Ostrich burgers! Hit your ostrich burger! A flask with a hinge screw up lid. Screw on lid. Commonly used to discreetly transport alcohol. Cotton patches, hell yeah. Uh, atomic coffee maker? Damn, those, I thought those were rare. I guess they are rare, I just got lucky, maybe. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Oh, knives. Yes, I was actually looking for a knife, too. Okay, I'm definitely going to take the paring knife. Because the paring knife will be good for the spike on a stick. Not that a good of an item. But it does do a little bit less damage than the wood axe. But it attacks faster and from a range. So, technically, it's better than the wood axe in a way. Not in raw damage numbers. But in usability, it's better. At least I think. I'm hoping for that, at least. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, they're still fighting. Damn. <laughs> Neither of them did damage to each other yet. That's really funny. Okay, I go find a, a long stick. And I'm also going to need to find some withered plants. Because I need to make a bunch of cordage. Oh, found a dead tree. I'm going to smack this with a normal size stick. And if I do it enough, eventually a long stick should come down, if I remember correctly. Okay, uh, maybe that doesn't work anymore. Maybe I need to use an axe. I'm going to test the axe. Maybe the wood axe will help. Wait, how is a wood axe not damaging the dead tree? I just looked it up. Apparently it's not a dead tree or a willow tree. I'm supposed to do this to a young tree. Okay, well, I'm getting tons of, like, random hallucinations. Like this freaky-looking thing. A zombie hollow. This zombie's hollow black eyes survey its surrounding as it stretches and bends in ways that whoever the original body belonged to never could. The only thing that seems solid on this flexible black veined body are the rows of sharp black teeth. You get the feeling that the only human thing are, are remaining is the skin worn as one that might wear clothes. Yeah, I need some antipsychotics, please. Thank you. Now where is a young tree? Aha, young tree. Uh, long stick, as I said. Nice. Nice. Okay, I finally collected all the pieces. I even have a table to build this on, so it should be a bit quicker. 
and I'll get my spike on a stick soon in four hours. Damn. Five times way too long. There we go. Hell yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now I got a paring knife on the end of a long stick that I knocked off of a young tree. For some reason, I can't find the cordage recipe. I must be missing it or something. But I do know that a cordage recipe is made with uh, withered plants, which is acquired by smacking around plants to get the withered parts. Oh, that's what the blue things are. That's interesting. They're drop down menus. That's why I couldn't find the cordage. Okay. Short cordage piece. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, I. Okay, they didn't change it up that much. I could just make like a short cordage piece from the withered plant. Oh, apparently my uh, spike on a stick is damaged by hitting a bush a little bit too hard. So I'm just going to lay that down. Don't want to damage it. And I'm going to go find a proper stick and then just smack bushes with that, I guess. These bushes will grow back after smacking them around a bit, right? I'm just trying to get some withered plants. I want to be able to harvest from them later if I can. Damn, it takes nine minutes a piece to make a short cordage piece. Well, 9 minutes, 37 seconds. If anything, that's actually surprisingly quick. I, I would think it would take longer to make a proper cordage piece. I need something with a cutting of two or more. I thought I had that. That might have been the paring knife, but then I made it into a weapon. Whoopsie. Well, this is a very big issue. Because now that I think about it, I can't purify any water. So all of the water I find, I'll have to find in the town. I guess to start purifying water, I should collect more wood. Uh, it's like chopping trees and destroying more wooden stuff around here. And with the splintered wood that I collect, I will burn it and try and boil the water with a pot that I'm going to take soon. And then I will have boiled water, which will be safer to drink. And with the extra planks and other th sticks that I find, I'll use for constructing stuff later, like boarding up windows. Oh no. Why is there a, a horde right there? Why is it getting closer? I really don't like that. Okay, I'm healing up a bit. I'm still not gonna risk the fight though, if I can help it. I just need to be able to get into the house. Oh look, more shells, more casings. Uh, I'm just gonna get into the house. Oh, the eye bot is tracking it, good. Okay, again, I just need to get into the house, find some water or something else to drink, and it should be okay. I don't like how there's so many zombies around. I hope they haven't seen me yet. Oh, damn. Okay. That's a problem. Hopefully I can get to the kitchens. Nothing here, right? Right? Don't see me. Just let me into the kitchens. Okay, there's yogurt. A grape drink. I'll take the fruit wine. Now I think about it. Doesn't alcohol like dehydrate you more than anything? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I need to grab some stuff from here. I'll take the steel frying pan and boil water in that, I guess. Unless the uh, pot, maybe. Not the pot, the uh, teapots. There it is. Let's see. Uh, the teapots. I need to drop one of them. Teapots. A uh, small metal teapot. How much does it have? Level 1 boiling quality. It will get it to 1.60 liters. Steel frying pan is 1 liter. Has level 2 boiling quality though. So it fits less water, but it's better. Uh, for some reason. I don't know why it's better, it just is. So I'll take the steel frying pan. Does this fruit wine help? Oh, it quenches you. Weird. Grape drink. Mass produced grape flavored beverage of artificial origin. Good for when you want something that, that tastes like fruit, but still don't care about your health. Damn, all, uh, everything I could find to drink is not healthy for some reason. It's super annoying. Damn, it does not quench me like at all either. Yeah, I need to escape, and I'm out of here. <laughs> run away, run away! And then I'm just going to go boil water. Boring. Oh, where'd the horde go? I guess the horde split if it's no longer a horde, or something like that. Oh, is that a zombie at my watering hole? Yep. Don't see me. Don't see me. Oh, it's chasing the fox. Okay, that's good, I guess. Not for the fox, but for me. Oh, damn. That zombie just ran right through the fencing. It is in my compound. What the hell? I would like to go and take care of that. Can I like drop this off? Okay, so I can drop it off. Good. Uh, spike time. What the heck is going on over here? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, that's not supposed to be here. That's a hallucination, isn't it? Yeah, it's a hallucination, right? 
Yeah. Okay, so where's the zombie at? Wasn't even a problem for me. It just ran off. Oh, it sees me though. I really should just kill. I can't have that just wandering around. Okay, I hit it pretty good. Uh, Smack it again. Okay. Okay. Nice. Smack it again. There we go. Now that is what I'm talking about. Just obliterate it. Oh, well, low grade methamphetamine. What? I'm just getting all the narcotics and stuff. Oh, yeah, a plastic bag of chewy candies. Yeah, not good for my health, I guess. Which is important, I guess. Partially because I want to heal faster. And if you eat much unhealthy food, you don't heal as fast. Uh, so how much do I got here? Four splintered wood. I don't know if that's enough twigs. I'll take those. Thank you. I don't think the leaves are going to burn really all that much. Are they even worth getting? I don't know. Ah, here's a stick. And this stuff, I will plop down into my fire spot. Matches. Light. Here. Food. Drinks, maybe. But I do have a tool with boiling one or more. Yes, it has two boiling quality. So what is going on there? It can't be in my inventory when I do it. it I mean... It, can't be in my hand when I do that for some reason. So I guess I'll drop it and then one tool with a boiling one or more. I have a tool with boiling one or more. It is right there. What is it talking about? Okay, so I basically just took all of the wood out of the first fire, it's still burning for some reason, put it right next to it, and I put the pan on top and then lit it up again. So that means the frying pan should just automatically boil on its own at some point soon. Oh, if it's yellow, yeah, I just remembered, if a, a book or a magazine is yellow, that means you have a crafting recipe to learn if you keep reading it, right? And it's gray, it means you have nothing to learn from it. All right, and I got some hot water. I think that means I can make tea. I have tea, right? Black coffee, nice. Okay, I can't see. Uh, I'm just going to grab the black coffee and then make it outside. Actually, I won't make the black coffee. Yeah, that's what I will do. Not make it. I put my water down. Because I do not need to be addicted anymore. And I'm pretty sure with caffeine, you just don't take it for a couple of days. You should be fine, right? Can you drink hot water without it being a big deal? Okay, so I can drink hot water and it's not a big deal. I am thirsty. I just cannot get enough water, I guess. All of that effort. And I'm still thirsty. Man, I really wish I saw like an evac shelter around here. Because I really need one of those. Not an evac shelter that is being built like an actual evac shelter. That I can get water from. That's clean. Because early game, water is just mm, such a big deal. Okay, so. Is it possible to kill the tough zombies? I think it might be. Because I have some decent armor. For the most part. Oh wait, I don't, didn't make... Okay, I'm going to make this armor real quick, actually. Okay, my legs aren't encumbered. Okay, so that means I could indeed go and test my luck. Test my fate. You could say. And maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. I think it will, though. I feel pretty confident with this armor. I got some pretty good health. Could be a little bit better, but, you know, I don't like waiting. And then also, got a decent weapon. So I should be able to take on one tough zombie. But after that, I don't think I could take on anything else. Oh, normal zombie. Where is that? To the east. Oh, there it is. Just a basic one. Do I go after that one first? I think I could, uh, oh, it was two. With one, I was pretty confident not even get hit, but two? That's concerning, but it is right there. They need to die whether they're the tough zombies or not. Oh, and there's a, a Z9. Okay, this just keeps obliterating my confidence every time I get closer, because I am not killing that. That's not gonna happen. If I try to fight that, I will die. So I need to not go over there at all, and then, just ignore all that. Let them do their thing. And just go over here and try to clear out a little bit of the main town. And hopefully not attract the Z9. Because I do attract the Z9, I'm screwed. Okay, so it's a tough zombie. Is his health lowered? No. Uh, there is a broken window there. I could lure it through, the, lure it over here, lure it through this window, and then use that as a opportunity to get some extra damage on it before it can hit me as much. There's an eyebot and another zombie fighting. Is it still there? Damn. They're still there. Just going at it. I didn't hear no bell. There's more. 
two uh, tough zombies. That's a tough zombie, right? Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. I'm out of here. I have to run. Oh, I can't run actually. I can't outrun that one. Okay, so my stamina is not good. So I was just trying to lure into here. Why does it have to be so damn fast? Uh oh, no, get back up. Oh my God, that was bad. That was really bad. Oh my, I'll come back for the military rucksack in a second, but that, that was really bad. Minor bleeding. Uh, my feet are still soaked from something. Uncomfortable caffeine withdrawal. Okay, so it's not a big deal. Oh wow, I almost broke a limb. That was bad. See, I was right. I was able to take on one. Only one. And then I was completely screwed. So I guess I'm just going to have to hang out in my place and try to heal for a couple days or something. But I need bandages. Do you have anything I can rip into bandages? Maybe the makeshift sling. Can I turn that into bandages? What happens if I do disassemble it, though? How long does it take to disassemble it? Oh, okay, just gave me a blanket. Okay, so that means with the blanket, uh, what did that disassemble into? Doesn't really say. Oh, I can't disassemble it. Well, that's lame. Okay, oh, that's actually kind of cool that I got a blanket, because I could put that in the car with my pillow. Drop. Now I'll be able to sleep in the car better. Oh, I can make bandages from the cotton sheets. Okay, I have one cotton sheet. I'll grab the cotton sheet, and I'm going to turn that into bandages. Completed the makeshift bandage. I only got one from that, sadly. Oh, I'm in intense pain as well. Uh, do I have any painkillers? I think I have painkillers, but I don't know. No, I don't have any painkillers. But I do have gummy vitamin. But now I do need to go and collect more wood. The wood is very important because I need to be able to just sit in my shelter for a while. And water is very important for that. I'm also going to grab the leaves because... At this point, I have no idea. The leaves might be helpful. I've never seen them before until now. So I'm just going to grab them all and burn them. They'll probably burn instantly, but at least it's something. Okay, so I lack the skills to understand how to make canned fish and the other things. But I will bother reading that later. Practice. Uh, a marble. Okay. Where is the marble that I had go? Should be in here somewhere, I guess. Is it in this thing? No. Don't know where the marbles are. Great. Okay, I'll just try and find a rock, I guess. Oh, I found a rock that's acceptable to use. Yes, I did. So I guess in the meantime, I'll just practice my throwing skill. Okay, so I can throw good, I guess. My throwing is at one. That's not very good, as I expected. I'm just going to keep practicing throwing skills. Oh, well, that sucks. I can no longer keep practicing. It's just too d darn dark. Aha, except for this spot here. Damn, it's too dark again. Okay, oh man, I'm thirsty and hungry again. That sucks. Well, that will be all for now. We'll have to see if I succumb to infection or hordes of the undead next time.